Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke. In this part, we're going to be going up to the Ruster Tunnel, I think it's called. But before that, I want to show you guys my team of all level 15, starting off with Sonic, who I did the most grinding on. Did not learn any moves, so I hope he does soon. Then we got Hermes, also level 15, with the moves Peck, Growl, Pursuit, and Fury Attack. Hornet, Whiskers, Snowball, they're all the same at level 15. I just want to get everyone up to the same level. And I feel like starting off with Hermes, I don't know. I kind of like him. I just started to use him while grinding and he seems pretty good. So, yes, it's me. I'm the fantastic trainer who helped you in the Petalburg Woods. And you got into some serious trouble, so I guess we have to help him again. And go into the rest of the tunnel and save Captain Briny's little Pico as... We usually do. I hope uh, Pico's not randomized into some random thing. That would be pretty funny. And here's Mr. Briny. What's up, my man? I can't wait to see Mr. Briny. He's going to be pretty cool. I always thought he looked like a generic old man. Maybe they'll give him, like, more of a, like, a look. Like, I see he has a little goatee and mustache, but he looks a little bit too generic. So, I hope to see him in his new Captain Briny-ness in... Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, what's up Team Aqua Grunt? You wanna face me and Pico? Or he's, I don't think he's actually gonna be using Pico, he's gonna be using a Carvana. Wow, that's kinda interesting how they usually do use Carvanas in Team Aqua. And there we go, one hit KO. Carvana is pretty frail. Speaking of Carvana, Mega Sharpedo is a thing, so that's, that's pretty cool. Uh. Whoops. So there's Mr. Briny, he got these Pico back, hey Pico. All right, so he lives in a cottage near uh, Duford, no, no, not Duford, Petalburg. So we'll have to go there, but I think I'm not gonna be facing the gym leader this episode. I think I'm gonna be doing a lot of catching this episode, which I guess is pretty cool because I know you guys love me catching Pokemon. Uh, but we should be getting, like once we do all this stuff and once we go down, once we go, to Mr. Briny and to uh, Duford. We, well, he gives us another great ball. What the heck? Um, he. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. We get the old rod there. And the old rod in the randomizer. Well, it randomizes everything. So. Wild Pokemon, even in the sea, will be randomized. So we get like a bunch of cool Pokemon. It won't just be Magikarps and Tentacles. So he's worried about us or something. I don't know. Delivered some package, so we have to go to Slateport City. This is probably going to be all cool and or ass, as some may call it. Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. So we get the Poké Nav. I'm not sure if that's going to be coming back. Hmm. Should be interesting to see. I don't know. I should be looking. This makes me look too weird. But this is all comfortable. I don't know. I just see myself in it. It's just, this is weird. And uh, heals our Pokemon, so thanks, man. I guess we don't have to go to the back to the Pokemon Center. And uh, peace out, yo. And we'll be coming back here to get the experience share, I think. Yeah, we'll be coming. I think once we f defeat. No, I think once we give the letter to Steven, then we can come back here for the experience share. But we'll probably do that after the second gym, so we'll be back here. And I think we also come here to revive the fossil, since that's randomized. It'll kind of be worth it. So, I feel like it would be good. it's better to be close to the microphone than far back. I don't know. Uh, give our president a call. Yes, I get to call the president. Uh, Devin Prez, what's up? All right. It's kind of weird how this guy's name is Mr. Stone and Steven Stone's a thing. Wait, is the president's name Mr. Stone or is that? I don't know. Uh, something's up with that. I don't, I don't know. You guys can tell me in the comments what's Steven's relation to the Devon people. And oh yeah, forgot. We have a battle with May. Huh. That's gonna be tough because I still don't think I have anything for an Articuno. This could be interesting, to say the least. Uh, Cyclist Force is back again with a giraffe rig. That's good. We could pursue you and get you the heck out of here. All right, that doesn't do the best damage. Okay. Come on, Hermes. I know you can do better than that. 
get a crit, man. Oh, okay. It'll be a four hit KO. And confusion, okay, I'm not sure how well we'll take that. Didn't take it too well. You know what, we'll switch over to Snowball. He can do better biting than pursuiting of Hermes, whatever that means. Um, bite, wow, that does a lot more. I guess Snowball will be our biting guy. All right, Snowball, and then I think here he comes, the Articuno. So. Hmm, we still don't have anything for it, but I guess the best bet would be to go for a bite with Snowball, because he can take whatever... Oh, get the flinch, wow. He can take whatever ice and flying moves he has. So, those are two things that he can take pretty well. So let's keep going for those bites and maybe get some more flinches. Oh! Do we have like a ability that increases... Oh no, we have the... uh. We have the King's Rock. That is a good idea. King's Rock boosts flinching. We have bite. Oh my gosh, this is powerful. Snowball and the crit. Wow. Snowball, my man. I'm so glad I got you. And Icy Wind. Okay, I'm not sure if that's better than Powder Snow. Let's see. 55. Yeah, I take a 15 power increase for a 5 power, 5 accuracy decrease. That's the word I was looking for. We were able to defeat May and her Articuno and Giraffe Rig. So that's pretty cool. All right, we don't really have to do much about her. And then I think she, yeah, it's weird that she just stays there. Kind of odd if you ask me. But either way, we can get the heck out of here. See you, May. Time to go find Mr. Brownie and Pico. Yeah, okay. Uh, we faced you. Oh, we have cut now. We have cut now. We can cut some people up, and we'll, get, we'll give it to Sonic. Sonic has no moves anyway. And actually, I'm gonna say there's a lot of cutting and stuff above, on the route, like up by the Ruster of Tunnel. So if I catch any good Pokemon, I will save that definitely for grinding. Uh, Cause trainers are always much better to fight than wild Pokemon, so. If, oh, Blaziken. Um, if we do catch a good Pokemon while Surfing, uh, not surfing, fishing, or doing other things. Ooh, another item. You always want to get these items in these randomizers. Uh, surfing or other stuff. Ooh, Leaf Stone. Ooh, if we ever need a Pokemon to evolve with a Leaf Stone, there we have it. So, Reg Ice, get the heck out. Those things usually explode. Alright, so we'll take this way out. And then a little hop down. Uh, so, as I was saying, that'll be used for grinding. That's a, oh, that's a kid I always remember having trouble, like... Talking to Mr. Briny, like him and Pika would always be running around, running around, running around. And I was like, you had to, you had to like nudge yourself in there. And that was always weird. I don't know. It's, I, I always think like how interesting like this will be in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire because I remember all this stuff like as a kid, like playing these games and this boat and Mr. Briny and Pico and getting this call like in the middle of the ocean. It's always so weird. Oh, like all these memories, and then it's just gonna be. Enhanced. I don't know. It's gonna be crazy and my phone just fell Whoops All right uh, Either way, let's keep going and there's see how many like roots there are so we can get a Pokemon route 106 and then Also Dufer town and then the granite cave and then also Petalburg City the route above Rustboro City and I don't know, surfing in this game is just going to be so awesome. So we get the old rod and we'll see how many cool Pokemon we can get. Maybe we'll replace a few teammates. Maybe we'll gain a few teammates. I don't know. Maybe we'll just get complete and utter garbage. I hope that's not the case. But Route 107 we'll surf at. So we get a Pokemon from there. And I hope I have Pokeballs because I don't think there's a mark here. Let's check. Um, yes, I have enough. Okay, we got a bunch. We got a bunch. That's good. And not even a nibble. Maybe this is in a lucky spot. If you guys ever went fishing, you know, you just got to get in a lucky spot where the fish are. I like fishing. And... <sighs> okay. We can get a Butterfree and Beedrill combo going on. The Weedle Caterpie. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, just open Pokeball at this thing. Let's see if we can catch it. Nope. Wow. Caterpie, you want to be caught? There we go. There we go. All right. We'll name you, uh... Let's see. We named Hornet Hornet. There's a fly. <laughs> um, stop it, fly. Get out of here. Um, should we just name this thing Fly? Yeah, let, let, let's name it Fly. Because <laughs> I don't even think Butterfree can fly, so maybe that'll be a joke. And there's also a fly going around my microphone by the time. It was like a little, it was like more like a gnat. Maybe I should name it gnat because it wasn't really a fly. But I don't know. I named it that and you really can't change it now. So Pokemon for Duford Town. Ooh, a Primate. But I always had trouble with normal type Pokemon. Never had really anything to do against that. So a nice Primate wouldn't be too bad. We missed the Fury attack. We missed it again. Let's heal up. Better be safe than sorry. All right, Leering again. This is getting pretty dangerous. Then. Maybe I should have went for like Pursuit or something not as effective. All right, so here's 106, another root. Um, we'll fish right here. So we got 106, do for town and 107. Then we're gonna get Granite Cave. Then we're gonna get those two other places that I said before. And ooh, not too bad, a Crobat. Let's peck this thing and peck it again because that will do some decent damage. And if we can get this Crobat, that'll be pretty darn good so we don't have to go through the hassle of like evolving a Zubat or a Golbat through happiness. And this will be good to catch. This will be a good guy. Let's see. Can we get it? Can we get it? We got it. All right. Nice. All right. Nice. Nice. Crobat, Crobat, Crobat. Um, I always go with like Batman or something, but this is a woman. Ooh, I can go with Batwoman or Bat Lady. Or, hmm, I like that woman. And all in one word, of course, bat woman. Why well, is like man and men a thing, and then woman and woman isn't it? Is woman a thing? Bat woman? Oops, is that a thing? I don't, I need to search this up. I need to see if this is an actual word. Hold on, uh, we, we gotta see this. Um, W-O-M-A. Yeah, that woman, okay. I only thought that it was like W-O-M-E-N, but I didn't know, like there was a singular woman. I thought it was kind of like, hmm, what's it, what's the thing that only, like geese? Or no, cause that's goose. I'm trying to, oh! Forget about the woman, potato, potato. We got a Zapdos right here. Woo hoo All right, let's go with the Sonic so none of his Thundershocks can do anything. Go for a scratch, please don't kill. That was close, okay. All right, Sonic, you got this. We need to go with, uh, gotta go with the Great Ball. Gotta catch this thing, oh my gosh. If we can get this Zapdos. One. Oh, this is crazy. All right, come on, Zapdos. Come on, Zapdos. I do not have any rules against legendaries. That is a thing. Um, I used to have rules, but then I was like, hey, legendaries are, legendaries are cool. And they could still die. I mean, they're fun to use, and they, they can still die to, like, a stupid thing. So let's see if we can get Zapdos. No, okay. Do we run out of our great balls? Yeah, okay. So let's just let's speed through this one. Oh, man. Come on. Oh, come on, Zapdos, come on. Come on, Zapdos. All right, let's go with something else to weaken it. Let's go with Whiskers. Whiskers, go for your water gun. That should not kill. It probably resists it since it's an electric type. Okay, good. Um, Let's... Should we go with something cool? Um, we have not caught a Zapdos before. Let's just try the repeat ball. Going for different things here. All right, come on. One, two, three... <laughs> no. All right, come on. Uh, Luxury, I'll save for last, because that seems like that seems like a good one. All right, Premier Zapdos is the premier of Pokemon. Oh no, that wasn't even close. All right, let's go with the Pokeball. 
Just a regular old Pokeball catching a Zapdos and a Pokeball. Here we go. One. No. Oh, man. Come on, Zapdos, buddy. Three Pokeballs left. Come on. Oh, come on, Zapdos. It's also a real challenge catching these things, so legendaries are always fun to catch. I don't know. Legendaries are cool. Come on. We can do this. One. No! What does Electric Ball even do? Makes Pokemon more friendly. Okay. So should, <laughs> should we just sacrifice Fly? Nah, that would be, be rude. Um, let's go with... Will Poison Sting kill? I don't think Poison Sting will kill. Unless we poison it. Come on, please don't kill it, Hornet. Please don't kill it, Hornet. No! Ah, uh, we missed out on getting a Zapdos. Let's see what else we could have gotten here. I don't know. I'm just interested. We could also get Flash from this guy. All right, cool. And a Ralts. That would not be too bad. Oh, we could have got a Zapdos. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. So Fly is not a member of the team, but. If I do want someone, Batwoman is not looking too bad. Astonish, Supersonic, Leech Life, and Screech. Not the best move set, but Zap, I mean, uh, not Zapdos. Can't get that thing off my mind. Um, Crobat doesn't have like the best move set uh, early on. So does Zubat and uh, Golbat. They don't get really anything good until I'd say like 15. I think they get Bite and that's decent, I guess. And there's the puddle I was talking about. And we need to get Pokeballs, because that freaking Zapdos ruined our lives. Maybe we can fish up another Zapdos. Alright. Uh, get a bunch of balls. 10 is good enough for me, because then we actually get 11, because of the Premier, Premier Ball. Let's fish. Oh, not even a nibble. I think I pressed it too early there. Dot, dot, dot. Maybe I didn't, because that went really quickly. Dot, 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 dot. Not even a nibble. Let's try this other place. This guy looks like a lucky guy. He's just... He's just looking deep into the pond, like, thinking about life. Maybe I should look with him. This this feels like a lucky Pokemon right now. This feels like a lucky Pokemon right now. This feels lucky. Azumarill. Not bad. We do have a water type, but Azumarill is pretty darn powerful. I'm afraid to even attack this thing, so let's just try Luxury Ball. Go for one Luxury Ball, and... What did I tell you? The Aqua Rabbit. Oh man, we gotta call you. We'll call you the... Oops. The Bunny. I don't know, just, just hit me. The Bunny is oh yes thick fat he does not have huge power i'm not even sure if huge powers in this game he also has a lepaberry um it's not bad we azumarill is not bad but we already have a decent water type in whiskers and he's already level 15 and all and this guy doesn't have huge power which i'm not even sure is in this generation it may or may not be but either way yeah, I'm not 100% sure about Azumarill. It was a good Pokemon. It was not a bad catch. So let's just sprint back to Rustboro City. Save the time. And hey, we Sandtree, we got a Sand Slash. That's funny. Um, saving time and running back very fast. Credilly, don't want to bother with you. And that, that little bit of experience to level 16 is really bothering me. But this is not a Pokemon I want to use it against. Uh, Credilly, why not? We'll just try it here. Oh, we almost killed it. One more. All right. That just got like the hunch of doing oh hey that thing's growing i remember i planted that orange berry there by accident and all right so we go up here and this is the route i was talking about route 115 and this will end our catching pokemon spree and i think there's actually a hidden item here there it is it's not really hidden but mech mail okay thanks for that all right where does it look like a nice fishing spot i think right here right here looks like a good spot right in the middle of this like little little like cove thing i don't even know what a cove is uh, but ooh, a bite and we'll see what this guy is right now Ooh, 
I'm sorry, I was just looking at my phone. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Now you can like see me like what I'm doing. I don't know, it's weird. Um Ooh, a Nuzleaf. I wouldn't mind a Nuzleaf. I always like shift tree. Oh, and we got the leaf stone. Oh ho, ho, ho. We are in for a treat with this guy. Alright, go for the scratch. Alright, cool. Did not kill. Go for some Pokeballs. And... There we go! Now, most people call Nuzleafs Nuzlock. Because that's what this is named after. Like, the Nuz in the Nuzleaf. And so, the original... This is how Nuzlock got started, if you don't know. There are comics... Like, a little comic strip, strip about... Um, a guy who went through a Nuzlocke journey of playing Pokemon Ruby. So, interesting enough, I think that was my first Nuzlocke. Weird, isn't it? Um, and he had a C dot that he named Locke after, I think, John Locke or someone. Some poetry guy. I don't know what John Locke even does. Um, but he named it Locke, and he really liked his Nuzleaf and Nuz Locke. Or maybe it should be the other way. Nuz, lock, mashed them together. Nuz lock. That was that was a good, good interpretation with the, yeah, okay. So we got lock the nuz leaf, and let's take a look at him. Pound hardened growth, not bad. I'll also give you, dude. This nuz lock is gonna a nuz leaf is gonna be crazy powerful with the with the. Uh, Miracle Seed, and he's going to get the Leaf Stone early on, but I'm going to have to check the moveset of Nuzleaf in Gen 3. I know they don't learn, like, as a C-Dot, and he's kind of, like, paired with Lotad. Um, C-Dot and Lotad don't really learn, like, stab-type moves too early. Um, but... What was I going to say? I don't even know. Um, yeah, I don't leave, learn moves that early, but... Luckily, we got that Leaf Stone, so it must be a message. And should I keep going? Uh, maybe I'll do some battling with trainers. So we'll do that on screen instead of off screen, just to just to feel more time, uh, or not. I don't know. I don't know. Is it really gonna be necessary to battle all these trainers? Um, I'll probably if I get a cool item, I'll show you guys next episode. But oh, Lilip, we just fought a Cradilly. Uh, we need to do some training with Locke. And hmm. I don't really want a full party. I feel like I should take out Sonic. Yeah, split second decision. I decided that I don't want Sonic anymore. I can take him back whenever necessary, but we already have a ground type and he, Sonic, does not even have any ground type moves. Maybe he's gonna learn one soon and I'm just wasting it uh, right now, but we'll put you in the front right there. I usually like to put the Pokemon in order of like when I would, would take him. Uh, Sonic will probably be number one, and we'll put, we'll put Caterpie in front of Beats, because he's, he's just Devolbeat. Uh, so this is the backup squad. If, like, all these Pokemon die, this would be the squad, and it doesn't look too bad. These guys are pretty good. Maybe a Butterfree, I don't know. But we also can't forget about Taco Bell. Uh, can't forget about the poor Taco Bell. Um, but with that said, that is going to be it for this episode and the beginning of the episode was so long ago I can't even remember if I did my intro I think I did I don't know it's been a long day and I'm tired so that'll be it I'll just be here swinging around in my chair um, so I'll meet you guys back in Duford town city island I'll put lock up in front Gotta put lock up in front. Um, do we even have a... We don't even have a dark type on the team. Wow, two new typings. Um, so I'll go over to the... Right? I don't know which way the face cam's... Go no, I think it's this... Because when I point to the left, it looks to the right. Face cam... Like, the webcam always confuses me. I don't know. Um, but I will train over to whatever side you want. That this side and uh yeah we will train up lock and do some more shenanigans there 
And uh, thanks for watching. It's been real cool of you guys to be here. I've enjoyed myself. I hope you guys have too. And I will see you guys. Oh, by the way, by the way, by the way. Um, these past two days, I know I was saying I was going to do double uploads. Like one in the day and then one in like the late, like a later in the night. Maybe like seven or six Eastern time. Uh, but they usually always go up at three o'clock so once you get home from school if you're on the eastern time uh you should be getting them as soon as you get back so you can watch instead of doing your homework because i'm a good person and i don't know if that's going to make a big sound i'm pet tapping on my mic um but i just not i want to say i wouldn't have the time but other things are getting in the way so I don't know. I'll just probably record some stuff later on and do some other stuff. So, whatever. I thank you guys for watching and sticking with me. But Victory Fire and Pixelmon. Pixelmon's weird because I need to get that gym battle. But sometimes when I... I tried today, but the gym leader wasn't on. And this is why the other... Okay, I'll explain right now because instead of just being too vague. Um, I want to get all those nicknames from episode 2, which hasn't even gone up yet. Um to the date so i think today's i'll just tell you guys when i'm recording today's monday so i don't think monday had a victory fire but tuesday should have a victory fire and an emerald and then i guess i could start recording victory fire again it's just like really hard to record because i don't have the nicknames well i have some nicknames so maybe i'll just do recording some victory fire not tomorrow maybe the next day yeah that's i'm not oh i'm not boring you with this stuff but that's it for today Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.